Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and we're very close to the 2021 NRL season starting, so I figured it's time to take a look at more of the jerseys, try and get these out of the way, because I said I was going to look at all of them, I said I was going to look at the Heritage jerseys, and I'm running out of time, I thought I had ages, but turns out I don't, so we're doing another one, we're taking a look at another four jerseys, we've already done one, we've already looked at all the home jerseys, if you haven't seen them, go back and take a look at them, uh, but for this one, we're going to be looking at the Panthers, the Knights, the Sharks, and Manly. Now, just before we start reviewing those jerseys, I just want to take the time to ask, if you do happen to enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smash like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. It is very important in terms of growing the channel that you do like and subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Notification bell, very important. Go ahead and do that. Your social media is on the screen as well at the moment. So go ahead, give me a follow on social media. So yeah, if you can go and do that, very much appreciated. Now I'm going to take a look at the first jersey and that jersey is the Canal Sharks. Now bear with me, if I keep looking down, it's because I've got the jersey on my laptop. I'm just looking at it. I really, really rate this jersey. I think it's really nice. I think this might be the best jersey so far that I've seen. Home, away, everything. I, I really like it. I like the little pattern that they've got at the top. I like how you still got the Sharks. Like it definitely feels like a Sharks jersey. I know it says Sharks on the actual jersey. It's got the Sharks logo on that. Obviously, it's a Sharks jersey. But you just look at the colors and you can see it and you can say, yep, that's a Sharks one. Now, yesterday, I had a guy come to my work and he's wearing the Raiders jersey. And you'd be mistaken if you're like, oh, I don't know what sort of jersey that is. If, it took, if you took the logo off, you'd be like, probably not a Raiders jersey. This one, I think, feel like it definitely looks like a Sharks jersey, despite it not being a traditional Sharks jersey. It's got the same colors. It's got the black. It's got the light blue, the baby blue. I don't know what it's actually called. The, yeah, you know, the light blue. But they've switched up a little bit. I can't exactly remember what their away jersey was last year. I think it might have just been the black jersey with, with similar blue, but uh, I think it was just similar to their home jersey, but swapped, if I'm not mistaken. So looking at this one, they've actually changed the design. And this is a design I haven't seen in NRL jersey, at least for quite a while, um, if ever. So I really do like this. Just the pattern itself looks kind of wacky, which I think looks cool. Um, it's got a bit of a gradient. Starts off with the blue, fades to the black. Um, but I really like it. I really rate it. I feel like the two colors go together well. The sharks on the front, I keep talking about sponsors in videos, how they, they need to blend in. They need to not look out of place. And I definitely think, obviously, the, the fact that it's a sharks sponsorship, I think it does help. Um, but just the fact that they've got the same color and stuff, I think it does look really nice. The Premiership logo looks nice. The actual Cronulla logo looks good. The collar is nice. Um, the side sponsors, I think they fit in well, um, despite it being yellow. They're not too out there. I mean, I feel like you can get away with arm sponsors being a little bit wacky. It's usually the one that's slapped right in the middle of the jersey that looks a little bit out of place. Like I kept talking about the, the old Kia logo for the Bulldogs, the Titans one currently, the big Neds one. Um, yeah, some of them look very out of place. This isn't one of them. And the shoulder ones, I think you can get away with. Um, so I really wrote this one. I'm actually going to give this one a 10 out of 10. And believe me, I'm actually surprised myself that I gave this a 10 because it is the Sharks. I don't think I've ever given the Sharks a 10 out of 10 in anything. So there you go. There's a first. Moving on to the next jersey. It's the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Um, I really like this one too. I don't think it's as good as the Sharks one, but this is more of a traditional sort of jersey. I'm pretty sure they wore this jersey back in the 90s, maybe. Uh, it seems familiar to me. Um, I can't remember the exact years or whatever, but just the whole maroon at the top, the little stripes, and then the white. I'm pretty sure they've done it. I mean, it is kind of a standard sort of jersey pattern. It's nothing too outrageous. Um, but look, the, the logos look pretty good. I feel like the Telstra Premiership logo looks decent. You've got the Manly one. It fits in well um, with the maroon there. So that all blends in well. The little... Sean Partners, whatever the hell it is on the top there. That blends in well. All the other ones, sleeve sponsors and that, they all seem fine. Um, I actually do rate this one really, really well. Um, I have actually actually think Manly have some pretty good jerseys, to be honest with you. Despite my hatred for Manly, uh, I'm not even hatred at this point, but my dislike for Manly, as well as most fans of the NRL, unless you go for Manly, I think you kind of dislike Manly. I think it's kind of a given. Um, but I do really rate their jerseys. But the URM, URM? Yeah, I think it's URM. URM? Pretty sure it's URM. I'm going to go with URM. Oh, yeah, it says management on there. So there you go. Um, but I think it goes well, despite having blue on there, because it's on the white background, I think it does fit in. Um, the collar's nice. I think it's a nice clean jersey. Uh, I saw someone in the comment section say uh, they're going to have a shot every time I say nice. So I'm going to try and come up with some different words. But I think this one uh, is a beauty. Uh, there we go. That's a different one. Uh, so yeah, I do like it. Is it as good as the Sharks one? I don't think so, but it's one of the better ones. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Now we move on to the Newcastle Knights. Looking at their jersey, it looks pretty similar to ones they've used in the past. I don't know if they've used stripes in the past. I really should have looked up previous jerseys from last year so I could have like a definite answer to whether they've used it or not. Um, but it does look very similar. I mean, I've used the Knights on Rubber League Live 4 and I, they had the custom jerseys. So they had the jerseys for 
2019, I'm pretty sure, and I'm fairly certain that the away jersey was quite similar. I've seen that they've announced their heritage jersey, which looks, oh, it looks schmick. But um, this one, it doesn't look bad. It just looks kind of, um, I mean, it looks like a nice jersey, but it looks kind of boring, let's be honest. Uh, the big NIB on this one, I feel like on the home jersey, I can get away with it because NIB is so Newcastle. But this one, it's just, it's just an eyesore, man. The, the green on there. When I first saw this jersey, like when I was grabbing the images for the video, I was just kind of grabbing them, sticking them in. But you're still going to get to see the colours. I might not take a proper look at them. And you hear me say, oh, this is my first impression of the jersey. So it is the first impression because I haven't really taken anything in. I've just chucked it into the editing software and gone. But for this one, I remember thinking, oh, it's not too bad. But looking at it now, I don't think I'm a fan of it. I mean, in principle, the colours I like. I think I said that about the actual Knights home jersey. Red, blue, white. I think you can't really go too wrong with it. And yet they still have. Um, just the lines here, I, I just don't like it. Um, it just, I don't know, it looks like they've kind of gone into Microsoft Paint and they've just added some random shit and just went, yep, chuck a line here, chuck a line here. Yep, let's do the, the autofill thing, like where you fill in the whole space. Oh, yep, that will do. Or they've gone on to Rebel League Live 4 and they've just chucked in a whole bunch of different patterns and stuff and went, yep, that'll do. Like, this feels like something I would have put together on Rebel League Live 4. And I think we can all agree that my Rebel League Live 4 jerseys aren't the best. So I think that reflects on the Knights that I feel like I'm comparing myself to the Knights there. So um, yeah, this one, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's not absolutely terrible, but just the NRB at the front uh, and then just the red onto the blue with the stripes. I don't like that part. So for that, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Now moving on to the final jersey of this video, it is the Penrith Panthers. Now for the most part, Penrith always has some sort of pink jersey. And I understand the whole pink panther sort of concept, but it's kind of getting a little bit old for me. However, looking at this jersey, I really like it. Um, the pink looks nice. I feel like the pink jerseys, they're such a, such a novelty that... If any team, did, if the Bulldogs did it, you'd probably be like, oh, it's kind of cool, I guess. It's just just something different, just something weird, I guess. Um, the Oak Plus on there doesn't look too bad. I mean, red and pink, similar sort of colors. The Hertz, yellow on the pink, doesn't look too bad. I feel like the white of the Premiership logo, the O'Neills, I think that stands out and looks nice. Even the actual Penrith jersey, because it's got that white outline. Um, but one thing they have changed up from previous years is that little, the three lines, three lines, four lines, three lines there. Um, three lines across the chest, just above the Oak. I don't think they've had that in previous years. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same jersey that they use year in, year out. Uh, I think in previous years, they might have had like a bit of a white outline somewhere. But, I mean, it's a pink jersey. It's a full pink jersey. There's not too much different you can do with it. Um, talk about other clubs having their traditional jerseys. I suppose these days, the, the pink jersey is a traditional jersey for Penrith. And I suppose it's a good thing for the female fans out there. They can go and wear that. So, it's a pretty innovative concept at the time. But... I don't know if it's run its course or not. Um, it's a pretty boring sort of jersey to me. It looks nice just because it's bright fluoro pink jersey. But like I said, it's kind of boring at this point. They've been doing it for um, at least, I think 2008 they were at least doing it. I'm going to say like 12, 13 years, maybe even more. I can't remember when they actually did it. I remember when they first did it, it was like, holy shit, Penrith wearing pink. Oh, Pink Panther. Great. But yeah, now I'm, I'm a little bit bored of it and I wish they'd try something different. Maybe still wear it, but don't have it as your actual away jersey. Come with something different. I liked last year's ones. And I'm not sure if last year's jerseys are now like a third jersey or something. I saw their Heritage jersey. It is pretty similar to the home one. Uh, but... Yeah, I do wish they'd wear the, the white one, but I mean, the pink one, it's still okay. Like, it's not a bad jersey, it's just the same old shit every year. So, for this one, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 as well. Um, not because it's particularly bad, but just because it's a, it's an old concept. Away jerseys, I like when they experiment. They're definitely not experimenting, that's for sure. So, yeah, 6 out of 10. So, those are my thoughts. Leave in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the jerseys? There's four of them to pick from. Pick your favorite, pick your least favorite. Go ahead and do that. Leave a rating out of 10 like I have. Um, just do all that sort of stuff. Also, wait at it, go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We talked about it at the start of the video briefly. It is very important in terms of growing the channel, especially with the NRL. Kicking off very, very soon, in fact, next week even. Um, we've got all the trials on this weekend. So there's going to be plenty of people uploading videos, plenty of content being made, plenty of stuff to talk about. So definitely subscribe. There's going to be plenty of stuff to watch. So go ahead and do that. Turn on the notification bell as well so you can be notified immediately when I upload. Um, also, go ahead and give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. Been posting sporadically on it, but have been posting a little bit more than I have been. So go ahead and give me a follow on them. Um, Snapchat included is Mr. Luke and YT. So go ahead and do that. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next one. See you.